exactly. They get it pulled out. You know. Um, let's talk about King's College now. You may remember the story yesterday, and I did say we would not let it go. And I have no intention of letting it go because the new generation of people, the 18-year-olds, are the people who actually have uh, decided that uh, they think political correctness is enough. Well, the ones I've met, they don't seem to be turned on to it at all. So, you know, we are going to be saved eventually. But King's College... In London, um, I don't know whether you lot can be saved because yeah. apparently uh, on the death of um, Prince Philip, uh, a memo or a, an email arrived at the college um, just stating the things that um, Prince Philip had done for the college. And then some of the people who work there complained that it was affecting their mental health because of the appalling person that he was. I, if I was there, I'd sack the lot of them. But apparently you can't do that now. No. Well, can you not? I mean, it's not ways. Well, well, I would. I'd, yeah. I'd make the. Yeah, I would. Well, the union. There's not enough discipline it. anymore, is there? In anything, no. No. everybody goes. Oh, I need a safe space. You can't shout at me. I mean, it's called King's me. College, it's isn't bullying. it? Bullying. I mean, it's called King's College. I mean, and they're committing treason in a way, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, guys. is that the Ocado, man? Yeah, no, I hope not. No, that was me yelling. Yeah. Um, George uh, um, L. Gil Holly. What? Georgia L. Gilholly, why would you keep your name? Why not drop the L? Maybe there's another Georgia Gilholly. Georgie Gill. Wouldn't that be better? Anyway, Georgie's an ex-King's uh, College uh, student and former president of, of Libertarian Society, or the Libertarian Society, yeah. should I say. What does the L stand for? Leia. Leia. Nice. <laughs> nice. Georgia Leia Gilholly. Yep. It's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> don't be frightened. We're not nearly as bad as we appear. Um, tell me about your experiences there, if you would, because I cannot believe that the people are so offended by a picture of uh, Prince Philip that they're now calling uh, for, for some sort of... They, they, they needed an apology, which they got. They needed time off to come to terms with this. I mean, are they really, 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 Georgia, this stupid? So I think possibly the people who sent those particular emails are that stupid. However, I think it's one of those situations where it's clearly, you know, the most radical voices that are shouting the loudest, trying to, you know, control the agenda. When I was at KCL, of course, I did interact with people like that, both academics and students. Most people, however, perfectly reasonable, friendly people, I don't think they will think that this kind of fuss about this quote unquote issue, it being a picture of Prince Philip, obviously not an issue. Um, so I think that it's one of those situations where KCL has basically created a storm in a teacup, um, contributing to obviously, you know, damaging their own PR, because as I'm saying, most people right. at the university and most of the general public, of course, who support the monarchy, um, really, you know, had a positive opinion of, of the late Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, I think that um, they're sort of causing more drama when there doesn't need to be any drama. Um, hmm. and I think, as so I'm why saying, do you think they did it? Yeah. Why do you um, think they think did it? I think it's because the people sort of making those decisions about apologies and things are often sort of in that academic bubble. And they think if they get 10, 15, however many emails, from certain members of staff or certain students you know saying okay i'm offended by this they automatically assume that they have actually done something wrong i think that's a broader issue in society but i think that it particularly exhibits itself at universities um because they're, in that they're not and i think that <laughs> oops sorry they're not fit people to be in education are they they don't sound like they're intelligent enough to be in no. education, educating uh, the young people of this country, I'd get rid of them. It's all. very offensive to the Queen as well, obviously, isn't it? Yeah, it King's is. She's College, just lost her husband. The King's College as well. I'd put them in the mm. tower, to be mm. honest. Founded by, by a king. I don't mm. know which king, but was it? So, founded by George IV, uh, father of Queen Victoria. And, of course, mm. the current patron of King's College London is the current monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, well, the yeah. much, you know, loved uh, spouse of Prince Philip. And the Chancellor yep. is Princess Anne, of course, his daughter. So, you know, 
where's their apology um, for the government, uh, not the government, sorry, in this case. I'm, I'm used to complaining about the government. Um, <laughs> um, well, what, the the what, Queen uh, should quit yeah. and the Princess Royal. They should hand in their resignations. I think because they actually have class um, and, of yeah. course, uh, a sense of duty, that wouldn't happen. Yeah. Um, mm. I think there'd be some sort of crisis um, uh, in the KCL constitution if, if they did. But I think um, tremendously disrespectful and disregarding of this university is quite specific um, links to the royal family. Um, and as I said, do you know what? Unnecessary. Yeah. Do you know what? So, I mean, the, these people who work there, uh, there were some students, I believe, but they were mainly people who work at the college who said they were offended. Um, and I can't, I can't, I don't know why, but they won't talk to us. I've no idea why I'm not that frightening, Ash, am I? No. Um, you know, who is the Chancellor of all the, no, no they're not the Chancellor, that's the uh, Princess Royal. Um, who is the Vice Chancellor, the person who gets paid enormous, excessive amounts of money uh, to run a university like most of them do? Who is that? Because I, I can't get their number. You haven't got it, have you? Um, no, however, I think it's one of those universities where there's several vice chancellors who have different responsibilities. Mm. So I would probably mm -hmm. look and see. But, you know, I don't think you'll have much luck getting to talk to you because, you know, as you can see, just from looking at the situation, they're not coming from a place of reason. They're coming no. from a place of sort of frenzy and responding to people saying they're offended mm. over what someone said some off college jokes a few decades ago. I think that KCR should be focusing on its current moral record which is not that great, by the way, rather than, you know, <laughs> creating issues out of nothing, <laughs> out of the jokes. If we were judging every single joke by a sort of strict purity moral code, um, not only would it change every five years with the fashions, you know, we'd have no comedians. What are we going to do? Lock <laughs> them up for? Any people, you know, this is the nature of making jokes. Some, some well, people you're absolutely right. <laughs> I mean, they've tried to get rid of us often enough, Ash, haven't they? Yeah. You know. I mean, there's been other examples, um, haven't there, of King's College? I can't remember which, but in the, haven't they, some people have said take statues. There's, there's definitely been a news for other things, haven't they, King's College, virtue signalling wise? They've been in the news, in the news for many things. Um, mm. For example, during my time as a student, um, the student union itself um, were found to have their uh, logo, uh, and I believe carried by members of the student union, on a banner honouring Palestinian terrorists. Um, so I think maybe they should be focusing on what kind of things they're permitting uh, right now, rather than focusing on jokes that mm. someone else made. And they still have a um, poster of Martin Bashir apparently outside there. Uh... <laughs> oh, they do actually. And my friend sent me uh, a picture because yeah, I yeah. forgot that was there. So I think that's. Oh, is that the outside head. the front where they've got all the ex alumni, <laughs> haven't they? On the yeah. yeah unfortunately, I'm not on yeah. there. Yeah. You're not on there. Well, they should put you instead <laughs> of uh, Martin Bashir. Yeah. yeah. What do you do now, Georgia? By the way. Um, well, I'm involved in quite a few different organisations, but I suppose uh, I would say I'm a freelance writer. Or my writer. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And would you do a story about King's College or not? Um, I think I would in general, but I think this topic's been covered a lot in the past few days, so I wouldn't necessarily write an article about it hmm. now. I think it would be, unless they do I mean, something what, else to make the situation worse. <laughs> well, yeah, I think they're all hiding at the moment. What happens, as far as I can see from uh, my experience of uh, doing things like this, what happens is they keep their heads down and then in a week or so it all goes away. But I have d decided that I am going to mention them every single night on this programme. Every single night, even if it's only a couple of words, I am going to mention them until they get so annoyed they either complain to... Uh, uh, my bosses or they do something until they are forced in some way to actually explain themselves because I don't think public bodies like this should be able to do these sort of things without actually defending their corner. Mm -hmm. Like we were saying, not just about their links with the royal family, but of course, like most universities in the UK, basically get all their money from taxpayers. Most taxpayers yep. think this story is ridiculous, which obviously it is. Um, and yet they're bankrolling this nonsense. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely agree with you. I think give them help. <laughs> but it's not actually right, the university too. doing this, is it? It's, so, it's some librarian that's actually apologised for it. And the King's College apparently are standing by, you know, they, they still... Well, then they Did they King's send College, out mate? the email? Yeah, well, apparently yeah. it was a librarian that sent it out, okay. apologising. It says... Uh, Doesn't matter. Obviously, they're sort of 
they're you know representing the university in that role so yeah, it might yeah. not sort of be the, the principal but it's you know a representative right. of the university expressing those views you know the university itself probably doesn't have an official stance well, it says really, here it's, I mean, it we're, remains very proud of its association with prince philip despite a row breaking out over a member of staff apologizing for using a photograph of him yeah so. well hang on say that again so <laughs> yeah, you're going to offend so people king's college london said the duke of edinburgh has a long and valued association with the university and said he used his position to make a huge contribution to british life the statement comes after a librarian apologized for emailing a photograph of the duke of edinburgh to colleagues because mm. of his history of racist and sexist comments have you got the name of the librarian i mentioned no, it about a hundred times yeah. yesterday but you know the librarian hasn't come down go yeah. to sleep georgia while we're on well, uh the librarian jolene hasn't... clark yeah. jolene, <laughs> jolene yeah. clark jolene, yeah jolene yeah. clark uh so jolene clark you sent the email that caused this stir oh, so right. jolene clark i would love to talk to you jolene associate clark. director uh, yeah, I would love to talk to you, Jolene Clark, yeah. because you took it upon yourself to do this. Mm. You've brought your university into disrepute, mm. and I would like you to explain why you apologise to people for sending an email with the, 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 the Duke of Edinburgh on uh, that apparently has upset a number of people. I'd love to talk to one of the people who are upset. Yeah. That would really be entertaining. Um, yeah. If there are any. You might have more luck sure finding... Be someone who's upset but um like i said they're definitely not the majority hmm. um and Physical. yeah it, while it was a librarian they were still acting in their official capacity so i yeah. think yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. a poor reflection on kcl yeah exactly yeah if they if they'd had anything about them they would have sacked the librarian and uh, and said this is ridiculous of course and we uh, we're very sorry to to hear about the death of prince philip who did many things for this university that's all they had to say yeah, well, I have said that. Really? Prince College, yeah. And, and, you know, the people who find the uh, the Prince um, uh, offensive, well, fine, we've all got our... But, you know, when somebody's just died, just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Particularly when the majority of people feel differently. Yeah. Georgia, thank you very much indeed. Um, I hope this hasn't wounded you too much. <laughs> no, thank you very much for having me. All right, Thanks, Georgia. Our pleasure.